All right, so 12.3, holding a ball. So the idea here is that we would like to um, uh, draw the extended free body diagram of what we see here. And here we see a forearm holding a ball, and it's attached over here to a bone called the humerus. Okay, that's why it's called the funny bone, because it's, it's humerus. No, that's really true. Okay, and then we have this biceps muscle. All right. So the goal is that we want to draw an extended free body diagram. But the advice in this textbook is for us to first draw a traditional free body diagram and to identify the forces. So let's just consider... Remember, what we do is we take, remember, we're drawing the free body diagram of the forearm. So what are all the forces acting on the forearm? Well, let's start over here. We have got the ball. So that's FBF, which is acting down. That is, um, it's a contact force and it's the ball acting down on the forearm. Okay. But remember, we've replaced this extended body simply with a center of mass uh, diagram okay uh, and then what's next is what about um, the gravitational force on the forearm there we have that F gravitational EF <coughs> acting down and then the muscle we know the muscle is pulling this guy up right otherwise we wouldn't be able to to pick anything up so this biceps muscle is applying a force to this arm at an angle here. Okay, so and that's what we see there. And they've already broken this guy up into uh, Y and X components. And then we've got this guy. Um, and we're not quite sure what it's doing. We're not quite sure what it's doing. Okay, so what we what we what we can kind of um, assume or like reason is that if the acceleration remember it says um, doesn't actually say anything here but I think the assumption is that this is the acceleration of the center of mass is zero which means that it's not accelerating in the X it's not accelerating in the Y so if you've got all these, these uh, two forces, the ball and the forearm acting down, and you've got this biceps force acting at an angle, then we know that it has a component to the left. Right? It's got this component in the x direction. And because the acceleration is zero in the x direction, there must be another force with a component in the x direction that cancels that force out and so it is this this force this um, force of the humerus bone onto the forearm has a component in the x direction that cancels that guy out and um, but we really don't know too much else about it okay and so we can just draw this force acting down like that. And it has that component and it has that component. All right. So this is now um, our free body diagram. Now you say, why can we just draw it down like that without knowing? Well, when we eventually set up our equations and do our calculations, um, those equations and calculations will tell us whether this is pointing in the right direction, whether um, the Y component should be negative or positive. Um, it's stuff like that. So it is, it's, it's not the end of the world. Okay, it all comes out in the wash, as they say. Now let's do an extended diagram, extended free body diagram. Okay, so we draw the extended body, there's the extended body. And now we can, now, the nice thing about this is, now we know we can apply the forces at the actual points of application on on the body so we can start here again uh, the ball on the on the forearm is acting over there 
You see, all of these forces were acting at one single point. And so you can't account for any rotation. But now this force we know is acting there. Gravity is acting uh, at the, in the center of mass. Okay. Um, what else? This biceps muscle is acting at an angle, but it's over there. So it's, it's, it's at a distance from the left side. It's acting at that angle. It's got the vertical and horizontal component. And we know that we've got this um, humerus acting on the forearm. And it's acting, and we've chosen it to be acting down like that. We know this one must be equal and opposite to that one so that these two forces cancel out. Okay? All right. I think that's all. I think in the next one we will actually do a, a, uh, a, a problem with this. Okay, see you.